Councillor Ogiamiri. Thank you, Speaker. I um, want to tell the story of what happened in the last term of council with uh, the old Anthony Road School, which is near Wilson and, and Dufferin. Uh, the TDSB had suggested that this surplus school site uh, be given up to the open market, and there were developers chomping at the bit. The city got involved. We purchased, to make a long story short, the parkland, which was behind the school, the green space, and the Mookie Bomb Center uh, for uh, Center for Autistic Kids purchased the building. And so we entered into uh, a private public partnership and we saved an institution without which that Anthony community would have absolutely no parkland, zero green space. So the city put its money where its mouth is and we put some money towards purchase of the park and we're now, through many Section 37 agreements and other park agreements, we're able to put some of the Ward 9 monies into the building of Anthony Park, and it will be done this year. This is a success story. You don't get many of those. At the corner of Lawrence and Jane, the uh, developers are now building on what was once the old Harding School, a beautiful old building. Councillor DiGiorgio spoke about Nelson Boylan, and that is my alma mater. It has a swimming pool. Downsview Secondary School has a swimming pool. Both of them operationally uh, affordable, and they've been maintained. If these schools are allowed to close and face the demolition ball, the communities in southern Downsview will be bereft of two sizable Olympic-sized swimming pools. That is a very expensive community asset to lose. So I'm very hopeful that saner minds will prevail and that we are not, don't laugh. <laughs> I'm always hopeful and that's why I'm here. Uh, and that we will be able to jump over this other hurdle and hopefully maintain these community hubs for what they are. Thank you. Thank you.